Hey there, and welcome back to Yakuza Laka Dragon. Last time we did just a bunch of side quests. And I mean a lot. We did uh, a pretty decent amount. And I think once again, this will be side quest galore, because I still have a bunch. Because the thing is, is, even though story is getting real good, and I would love to just go there and do it, I like to get all these out of the way. So, like last time, if you don't want to, you know, watch me do side quests, which some of them are really good. Oh, excellent. I'd recommend watching if you want to watch some really good side quests, but if not, I understand, and you can go. But yeah, we did a bunch of side quests. I met in... Ooh, excellent. I knew it. Okay, put on our place. I will get rid of you. We met a person that... Ichiban you saved in the past and she wanted to say thank you and ended up she died and probably we I don't know how long ago but she was dead the entire time and it was her ghost we spent time with and she actually fell in love with us and it was a, it was a very sweet but still kind of sad Basically, we went out to a restaurant with her. Then we went, was that? Went to a restaurant with her. We went to the arcade with her. And then we got in a fight, and she was watching us, and cheering us on. And no. And yeah, it was nice. Then we helped find some merchandise, be up a guy selling phony merchandise knockoff. Just. You know, a bunch of things happened. Also, we helped a lady who was a tour guide who kept, you know, under pressure. She kept messing up. But, yeah. A lot of cute side quests. Dust detected. Oh, dust detected. Dust detected. Hmm? Hmm? What is this thing? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I never expected Soji to react to people. It would appear your clothes are dirty. My clothes are dirty? Kinda rude to bust that out, stranger. But speaking of clothes, what's up with your coat? Hmm. Hmm. My apologies. I'm Professor Akita, creator of Soji. Ah, uh, now I get it. But what is this Soji thing you keep talking about? <laughs> what? Are you telling me, you shrubbed-haired young man, no. you don't know what my Soji? Never heard of it. Soji? The highly port uh, po uh, popular household clean robot that sold 5 million units and counting. No. Like I said, never heard of it. What? The thing there are still souls across our great land that have never heard of Soji. you either been living in a rock or behind bars. Yeah. You mean, you got one, <sighs> right? Back... But back it up, do you say this thing's a household clean robot? I didn't know those were a thing. We live in the golden age of automatic vacuum cleaners, but there's a push of a button, so she will make your home sparkle and shine. Wow. This little tin can. Hard to imagine, but that sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, it received nationwide recognition. In fact, I'm currently in the planning phase of a new Soji model that's been requested by the state. Wait. What for, you ask? Why, this new model will clean whole cities. Oh, it's a street sweeper. Whole cities? With this little thing? No, no, no. Cleaning the entire city of Yokohama at this size will be far too inefficient. As such, the new Soji model is planned to be 4 meters in width and 1.5 meters in height. And employ, a, and employ a suction force five times greater than the current model. Huh? Something that big is gonna be running around the city? Won't we like stare kids? <laughs> <laughs> Hardly. I will be implementing some additional features to ensure it be it becomes nothing short of Yokohama's friendly neighborhood sh soji. Right. Hmm. However, government subsidy uh, subs subsidy alone isn't enough to cover the cost. I'm currently trying to raise funds for various organizations, but it's been somewhat of a struggle. Wow. Uh, guess building state of art robots ain't cheap. Though I gotta say, I wouldn't mind seeing this place get cleaned up. How much more do you need for de mm. development? 
Let's see now. Taking my personal funds into account, I wager a million yen will cover it. A million? That's no small chunk of change. Are you offering anything to people who pitch in? Hmm. Certainly. If you invest your funds in this project yields profits as planned, you'll receive a healthy dividend. I'll also give you access to r rent a new Soji model at your le leisure. So, how's that sound? Mm. Well, let me think. I'll see what I can give you if I have anything to spare. Oh, young, oh, Sir Young Shrub. No, Lord Shrub. I thank you. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be a, a lot of hard work, but good luck with the robot. You have my thanks. Anyhow, till next time. I need a million yen to actually do this quest. Yeah, I need a million yen for you, and I can't do that at the moment. So, let's see. I can't do you. You guys won't start. Can't do you. Don't have the yen. Let's go down here. Also, good news. I got a new microphone to actually record these things on. It's just sad that I I bought it. I bought refurbished on and it came with everything but the damn core. It's hooked up next to me. It's a, it's pretty. It's not, I didn't get uh, something expensive, expensive. But yeah, they sent me the beautiful blue Yeti. And, uh, fun fact, they didn't send a cord. I'm mad, but I will need to. No use being mad about it forever. Oh, that was beautifully executed. Let's go. Um. Right. Um. Ari, are you okay? Well, show up. Let's go. Ari, how? How? You're gonna be in the world. There you go. That's better. I got this. Oh yeah. Alright, let's see what's happening down here. I didn't know there was a Chinese place here. Hmm. What's going on? Sumimasen. My sincere apologies. Come on, you two. Sumimasen deした. I'm sorry. Hmm? That guy, did he mess up someone's order? Like father, like son. No, no, there's no need to apologize. It's easy to mistake salt and sugar. Yeah, not at all. It's a careless mistake. We're very sorry. Yeah. Everyone makes mistakes. And if it's any consolation, the rice was still good. Keep at you, the coon. I'll see you later. Yes, thank you. I mean, uh, I am very sorry, miss. Yeah. You idiot. She forgave you because she's a regular. What are you gonna learn how to cook? I'm sorry, Dad. <sighs> Honestly, I can't leave the restaurant to you like this. Mm. So, he's passing on the restaurant to his kid. It must be stressful. Maybe I'll keep an eye on next time I come through here. Alright, I think this one I have to eat at the restaurant after a period of time. So, we're gonna go over here, check things out, because I actually haven't been over here yet. Because they hide things. Nope, I actually would have hidden Tojo Crest there, honestly. Alright, well, it looks like uh, that's going... Oh, wait, am I recording? Yeah, okay. I just... I'm double-checking things like I usually do. I get paranoid sometimes. Last time I came here, that dad was scolding his son. Uh, Mao-san, uh, we didn't have to meet up near the restaurant. Mm hmm Oh, hey, that's the guy who's getting yelled at by his dad. <laughs> You're always working so hard. And besides, I wanted to see you as soon as I could. Mao-san, I'm so sorry about last time. I really messed up that rice. Oh, that's all right. It was good for what it was. It was like a dessert. Very innovative. Okay, that's the lady he gave the sugary fried rice. Uh, now, why don't we go to the movies? Oh no, where did I put those tickets? Don't tell me I dropped them. Ah, oh, crap. I'm so sorry. It's alright. 
We can buy them at the counter. You gave me this lovely little thing, so tonight's on me. That lady sounds a oh. little older than him. Hey, you're actually wearing it. Thank you. A ring this cute for a woman in her 40s? <laughs> Does it really suit me? More than anyone else in the world. Yep. Honestly, I think there's a 28 something more expensive. 20 year gap here. The thoughts what matters. But are you sure? I I'm an old lady, you know. Now, son, you're no old lady. Truly, I'm serious when I say I want to marry you. Oh, Yuta-kun. Thank you. So those two are going out. Damn, she's 40-something. Definitely got a few years on him. But probably about 20, I guess. Uh-oh. Huh? Whoa! Hey, you're that guy's old man, right? My Yuta. Getting married? Impossible. Not my Yuta. Uh oh. Catch him. Yo, snap out of it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to trouble you. The name's Tokuro Tanaka. I own a Chinese restaurant here in town. Ichiban Tasuka. No worries. I wasn't gonna just leave you passed out like that. That Yuta. So much to learn and he's out wasting his time with a woman. Come on. He's bound to start seeing people at that age. Why not support him? No. He needs to hone his skills as a chef so he can take up the restaurant. There's no time for him to get caught up in love and whatnot. What's more, she's 40! Damn near old enough to be his mother. Yeah, but age shouldn't really matter, right? Oh, like hell it shouldn't. I don't want him to suffer like I did. I take it there's a story here? Truth be told, my wife was older than me. She passed away when he was little. It's tough being left behind. I don't want him to have to experience the same thing. I get how you feel, but... You never really know when someone's gonna die, you know? If they really love each other, isn't that enough? Yeah, well... I hear she's been divorced once already. Her life's totally different from Yuta's. There's no way an amateur like him could match up with her. For all we know, she's playing him for a fool. You're thinking about this way too hard. Kasuga-san, forgive me for roping you into this, but... Do you think you could find out more for me? Huh? Me? He's your son, isn't he? Yeah, well, he might not feel like answering me. And I don't see myself handling it too politely, either. <laughs> Please, there's nobody else that I can ask about something this embarrassing. I'll even reward you for your trouble. This sounds pretty complicated. I don't know if I could just sit back after hearing him out. Once I'm done screwing what I'm screwing in, I will and click that, I swear. Ah, oh, you know, I'm just gonna screw this. I'll mess with it after. This thing's a little weird. I'll put you over there. There we go. Alright, I'll accept. Alright, fine. It's an I attachment to the microphone. Myself. It's like a weird, like, oh, plot that goes over it. it. Think you could talk to him next time he's at the restaurant? Yeah, sure. I'll ask him when I'm nearby. All right. We're going around at the speed of sound. Got no place to go. Gotta follow my friend. Oh, wait. Is there a shiny? No, oh, I've seen things. You know, actually, let's go eat at the restaurant. I think that's what I gotta do. If not, oh, well. I still got money. Oh, hello. Oh. Got to turn those in. Yes, you see.
Ooh, me. Me. Mm. Something addicting about this chili shrimp. You know what's gonna happen if you stuff your face like that. Oh, finished already. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Never would have guessed you were that big of a shrimp fan. To be honest, the chili sauce is my favorite thing about it. Yeah, I'm not much a shrimp guy. It's just so good. I don't want to waste a single drop. Hmm, what else can I order for this chili sauce lover over here? Chili sauce? How about chili beef? Alright, shrimp and chili sauce. Rice? You ordered rice? Yeah, put some of that chili sauce on top and try it out. Oh, that's brilliant! Now it's a chili sauce bowl! Oh, wow, he's really close to rank four. Right? Now you get more food and you get to use up all your sauce. Exactly. Oh, white good rice in there, Chinese Kasuga. restaurants is pretty good. I'm the weirdo that eats the rice plain. Enemies will drop more money. Enemies will drop more money. Enemies will drop more money. <laughs> and he is ready for rank. Alright. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's all go. I know we're only half drunk. All right, let's go down here. Not much I can do up here. And when that quite oh god damn it! As soon as I walk away, you're joking. Delicious Chinese food right here, man. Nobody's biting today. Your this dad wanted me to ask his son, uh, uh, ask about his son's relationship. There's no customers around, so now's probably a good time. Sup? Hey, you Yuda. Hi. Yes, uh, and you are? I'm Kazuga. Your dad told me a bit about you. Hmm? Huh? He did. So that's what this is about. I I'm sorry he roped you into this, did he? <sighs> Your dad's just worried, you know. Personally, I think you gotta live how you wanna live. Appreciate the support. My dad can be too overprotective sometimes. Just means he cares about you. Anyway. I guess you're pretty serious about this girl, huh? Hi. Of course. I'm serious about her. I like to think we're dating with marriage in the cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get ya. So, uh, what kind of girl is she? Maoi san has been a regular of ours for a while now. She used to come in here a lot with her previous husband. She's divorced, right? Yeah. Her husband was so busy with work, they never had time for each other. I guess you could say they grew apart. Their feelings just sort of drifted away. Sure. Maoi san has the most amazing smile, and she's the, been the most kind since we first met way back when. <laughs> she was almost like a mom to me, if I'm being honest. Always so encouraging. Whoa, Yuda's mom passed away when he was little, and now he's. Bro. The divorce was really tough. Uh, rough, I guess. So I tried to be a shoulder she could lean on, though, through it all. I just wanted to be there for the woman who gave, who was there for me. I felt like I could make her happy. Oh. I get it. So you fell in love with her after you started looking out for her. She's beautiful, I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, too. <laughs> okay, well, sounds like you've got your head on straight, mostly. But shouldn't you be able to talk to your dad about it? Mm. I wish I could, but I'm afraid he'll just use Maoi-san as a reason for me not being good enough chef or something like that. So it's been, it's, so it's been hard working for him lately? <sighs> yeah, I'm not really sure what to do. <sighs> His heart's in the right place, but I still feel bad for him. Maybe I can give him some classic Kazuga counseling. Yeah. Okay, so maybe you should brush up on your cooking skills and prove you got what it takes. Kindness. I think so too. I'm practicing every day though. Well, if it's not getting results, then maybe you should do some kind of special training. That could help you. Oh. Yeah. Special training. I know. Arigatou Thank you for the advice, Kazuga-san. Oh. You think of something? Hi. 
I did. I'm going to train at another restaurant and get my dad to finally accept me as a fully fledged chef. Another restaurant? I feel like I can rely, I rely on my dad too much at our place. If I train at another restaurant, it'll force me to fend for myself and learn on my own. Wow. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good idea. So where are you going to go? There's a restaurant called Hien Tower in Chinatown. That place is no joke when it comes to Chinese food. I'll beg for a job if I have to. Oh yeah. Wow. With fire under your ass? I'd be surprised if they turned you away. Yeah. Oh, and uh, there might be trouble if my dad gets with this, so do you think you can keep it on the down low? I want to surprise my dad by showing him how much I've grown. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I got you. Arigatouzaimasu. Thank you. Won't be surprised when he find won't he be surprised when he finds out. He raised me as a single dad, so I can only hope this will be enough to say thanks for all he's done. I should be getting back to the restaurant. I'll see you later. Yeah. He was a good guy. He takes love and work pretty seriously. I'll tell his dad the good news next time I see him. Okay, so... Mm, it can go wrong if his dad figures... Hey, Uta, where have you been these days? You've been coming home unusually late. Hmm? Hmm. Oh, uh, nowhere in particular. Nothing you need to worry about, Dad. Eh? There's no time to fool around when you're still wet behind the ears. <laughs> I'm not fooling around and I'm not a kid anymore. Give me a break. What's that? Don't give me the lip. That lip. Hold on. Yo, hold up. Everyone, just calm down. Kazuka-san. Look, it's almost time, so I gotta go. Mother! You're back to goofing off that woman, aren't you? You're an ungrateful little brat. Yo. Hey, go easy on the kid. Hmm. He doesn't care about me or this restaurant. Chinese cuisine looks simple, sure, but it's actually quite complex. If he's out trying to woo some grandma, he'll never master the art. Who knows how much longer I'll be around. If he stays the way he is, the restaurant will close for sure, and then he'll be out in the streets. <sighs> I could never face my wife after that. She deserves a better father for her son. No. He is not the guy you think he is. He really does care about this place. I'm supposed to believe that? He's probably off of that hussy right now. Take my word for it. That's not where he went. Then, where the hell did he go? <sighs> All right, follow me. Huh? This is here, high in tower, here in tower. Hmm? You know it? No one. This place is the running for the top spot and is that, oh Jesus, Izaki, 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 ha ha ha. And Izaki, what's he doing oh. here? Hey, you guy, watch the heat, will ya? Too much fire and you're gonna lose all the flavor. Sorry. Sorry. And hurry up, prep the, the dish, and prep the dishwasher. Cooking is a fight against time. Don't forget that. Hey. Yes. Sir, that boy, I don't get it. He said he wanted to train at a place that's even tougher. He thought maybe then you'll finally accept him as a chef. All right, delivery is next. Tick tock, remember. Yes, sir. You get it now? He hasn't been out fooling around. He's really serious about his relationship and he's working real hard to prove himself to you. <laughs> he may be an amateur, but he's not a great one. I'd say you got a pretty cool son. <sighs> you know, why didn't you just say so? How could he? He knows you're a good dad, but you've been laying into him. This is his surprise. Don't tell him I told you, for his sake, all right? All right. Come on, let's get back to the restaurant. We don't want to run into him. Right. <laughs> Whoa, hmm? huh? <laughs> Oops, sorry about that, you the con. Looks like I bumped into you. Eh? Watch where you're walking. This shit costs money, you know. Ow, sorry about that. That's twice now, right? Gotta be more careful. Eh? What? But you tripped me last time, too. Oh, I'm sorry. What? You back talking us? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Hurry up and make it again. Or maybe we'll have to go and get you. Uh, go out and get the ingredients in our place as punishment. Yes, sir. Mm, I should beat them up. <clears throat> Assholes. 
mess with you though like that. Mate! Those bastards. Hey, hold on. Huh? Who's this jack off? Treating my Uta so horribly and wasting food too. You call yourself chefs. Huh? Boy, the old goat piss off. <sighs> oh. Oh. Hey, you okay? Oh. So you're his old man then. Then maybe you could tell him something for us. <laughs> Don't get all fired up on something you don't know jack shit about. <laughs> Seriously. We just want to take it easy. This kid's a pest. Yo. At least he gives a rat's ass. You two ain't worth dick. The hell. You shitheads have no right to make fun of you, though. Eh? Are you trying to start something, pal? Laughing at someone who's trying their best to change? I hate guys like you. That right. Well, if there's one thing I hate, it's up the old shits like you. Oh yeah, we're all slightly drunk. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Ah, resisted. Oh, let's finish him off. I'm up! Take out box up your ass. Chopsticks first, you got that. We're sorry. Huh? I asked them to go out and get some more ingredients. Where'd they go? Shit, it's Senpai. You can't let him see us like this. Run. You okay? Mm. Yes. Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> they won't be bothering him anymore. Come on, let's head back. Okay. Thanks for everything, Kasuga-san. Don't mention it. No, I've relied on you for everything. This is the least I can do. Please, take it. Ooh, okay, that is a good thing for Chef. Looks like he started thinking more like an adult. And here I thought he was still a boy. I wanted him to hurry up and be independent. But maybe I was the one depending on him. I'm back. Oh, uh... Kasuga-san, hello. Hey, welcome back. Uh, <clears throat> what now, Dad? Another lecture? Yuta, can you make some fried rice? I'm uh, getting a little hungry. Huh? Just make it yourself. Come on, Yuta, make some. For me, too. Huh? Uh, oh, all right. Thanks for waiting. Two orders of fried rice. Hey, looks pretty damn tasty. <laughs> we'll uh, see about that. Here goes. Hmm. Yup, I was right. No way an amateur made this stuff. I think maybe you got better, huh, Yuta? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, how was it? You're definitely improving, but it's still not quite there. <sighs> damn it. This fried rice. It's a little too salty. Dad? So much for honesty. <laughs> nice. That was cute. Um, okay, we still got... Oh, God, so many... What have I got myself into? I can't do you, can't do you, so these are out for now. I'm gonna go do this one. I can take a taxi there too. And the nice thing is I forgot some of these side quests, so it's nice to just relive them. Alright, 
Alright, I'm going here and here. Oh, I have 141,000. Oh man, that's a decent ch uh, amount of chunk change. Chunk change, chunk change. Okay, thought they hide something in there. Nope. Alright. Oh, donation girl. Um. Excuse me. Could I ask you for a donation? Sorry, I'm kind of in a hurry. Oh. Hmm. An act of kindness. Excuse me? Could I bother you for a donation? My little brother is sick, and I need money for his surgery. <laughs> of course. Oh, sure. Wow, thanks! How much should I give her? Give her 10,000. Here. Really? Thank you very much! <laughs> it's nice to finally receive a donation. I saw you earlier. But it doesn't look like things are going too well. Yeah, it's true. No matter how hard I try, everybody just keeps walking past me. You're doing this all by yourself? Where are your parents? They've been working late to... Save up for the surgery. I got ya. It must be tough. That's why I have to work just as hard as them. Besides... Please donate to children who are less fortunate. Donations, please. Here you go. Thank you very much! Those two are gathering money for children they've never even met before. I got feeling that's actually. I think that's amazing. Back. It makes me want to try even harder. Sure. You're a good kid. Still, she's not gonna earn check in a place like this. Also, I highly doubt they're donating that money. Why don't we try this somewhere else? Huh? You won't get anywhere calling out to random strangers. You gotta draw some attention. Here, I'll help you out a bit. Oh, thank you so much! My name is Megumi. What about you, mister? I'm Kasuga. Okay, let's see if there's a better spot. Might help us draw in some donations. The street performer, I feel like a jerk for trying to take money from him. The ladies are just having conversation at the eatery. The shop over there is some good traffic. A place with a lot of parents and kids is sure to help. Let's try by that shop over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this works. Hey, you can't do that here. Hmm? Huh? I'm the manager of this store. I can't have you soliciting out here without at least telling me first. You need permission these days? Guess that was a rule. Long time. Sorry. My bad. I totally forgot about that. If it's cool with you, can we post up outside your store? Anna! Please, it's for my little brother's surgery. Well, if that's the case, go right on right ahead. I thought you might be those people from earlier, mm -hmm. but I won't deny someone with such good cause. Arigatou oh, thank you very much. <clears throat> thank you. Ah, whatever. Nonsense. You're doing the hardest part. Best of luck now. Cool. We got permission. Let's get back Hi. to it. Yes. Um. Hmm. Wow, there's a lot. 
See? It's all about location. You're tight with the manager now, too, so this place is your best bet. Hi! Yes, thank you for your help. I'll stay here and keep going. Still, I bet it's a lot tougher with all these people around now, huh? I'm definitely more tired than I was before. But it's nothing compared to what Makun is going hmm? through. Makun? Uh, your little brother. Yep. He's really looking forward to going to the amusement park with me and mom and dad again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Cool. Let's make sure that he gets to do that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I have to get home soon. Thank you very much for all your help. What a sweet... What a sweet kid. Oh, hey. Didn't know you were here. <laughs> I wasn't sure when to cut in. My apologies for earlier. I thought you were in cahoots with those guys over there. Hmm? Who? Them? Looks like they're collecting for some kind of cause, right? Something wrong? Hmm. I don't have any proof, but I think they're just collecting money and line their pockets. To line their pockets. It's just a rumor, but wouldn't that be terrible if it was true? Especially if they're using kids in need as bait. I was worried that you two might have been doing the same thing. No kidding. Yeah, well, wrong full of consumption on my part. You can use my storefront anytime. I just want to let you know now, if you excuse me. <sighs> I wonder if that rumor about those guys is true. Nah, it, can't. it can wait. I should check on Megumi when she, I have a chance. Megumi. Also, since I'm here, let's have some food. Ew, I hate pickles. I saw those. Yep. Disgusting. Who's hungry? Ah, nothing like an extra large beef bowl to satisfy a working man's hunger. Got that right. I used to eat here every other meal. But you know what? I probably should downsize. Guess that's the old age talking. Come on, man. You really think you're that old? All right, let's order up some more. Ready to get your grub on? Oh. <laughs> you know what? Nah, of course you would order the exact same thing. Hey, if it's too much for you, I could always help you out. Here, let me have some. I'll be my guest. How about I take the meat and leave you the rice? You sly old devil. Ooh, this one increases your attack. <clears throat> All right, Adachi's ready for rank four. Hey, oh, All right, our attacks increased. And... All right, let's uh go over here. Hey, Fatso. Bum 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 bum. We're splurging today. Me. Sometimes all you need at the end of the day is a plain old burger. Gotta love the classics. Yeah, nowadays you get these trendy ramen and beef bowl shops with all kinds of garbage on the menu. And sure, maybe you'll try it out of curiosity, but it won't be long before you're back to the real stuff. Ramen, you gotta keep simple. Same goes for beef bowls. Agreed. But get this. The ramen shop near me started putting out curry and pasta. Huh. Guess they were going for a new angle. Well, that new angle made them forget how show you ramen is done. Customers hated it. Now their doors are shut for good. Whammo! Damn. Point is, don't lose sight of the basics just to make profit. Or it's all over for you. Very true. And let's enjoy these burgers while they're still good, huh? You said it. All right, yep. I get you ready to rank up. All right, and this place is also attack. <laughs> I got a feeling I would love to try beef, but got a feeling I would <laughs> Low girl's back. Let's talk to her. Hmm? There's Megumi, working hard as always. 
Please make, please make a donation. My little brother sick and needs money for his surgery. Doesn't look like anyone, anyone can hear her. No surprise considering all this traffic. Hey, hey, how's it going? <coughs> oh, Kazuka-san, I've been receiving more donation donations than ever, but I'm still a long way from my goal. I see. Yeah, in that case, you just need to let your voice be heard. I was watching you earlier, and it looks to me like you're not getting loud enough. Um, so how do I do that? Sure thing. Here, let me show you. Uh... The key here is to get everyone to stop in their tracks. Now, how the hell am I gonna do that? Hey, Hold the fuck up, people! What? Psst. Is that guy sane? Don't make eye talk contact. But there's a little girl with an angry man. Is she in danger? Whoa. Shit. I got to the stop, but now I look like a freak. Uh, how great was that line, huh? Just couldn't help but reenact it. Easily one of my top ten films of all time. Um... Is all the cool movie? Yikes. Downright embarrassing. So... That's what you yell when you want people to notice you? If you say so, I hold the... No. <laughs> hold on. Uh, wait, hold on. Don't say that. Try this instead. Everyone, listen up real quick. What's going on? What happened? See? That's how you get their attention. Do it just like that, okay? You're up. Give it all you got. Hi. Um, okay. Everyone, please listen to what I gotta say. My little brother is sick and needs money, so if you could, please consider donating. <laughs> hey, there you go. Eh? A donation? Maybe I should do something good for once. That girl's way younger than me, but look at her go. I should donate too. Well, sure, I'll donate. Huh? Wait. <sighs> what the hell's going on here? Wow, look at all this. Thank you very much, everyone. I didn't expect to receive this much. Thank you, Kaskasan. Hey, all I did was give you a little advice. You gonna be okay on your own? Hi! Yep. <laughs> Good to hear. Well, keep it up for your little brother. The problem now is I noticed that the one group of kids who are probably scamming the line their pockets was staring, so Oh Oh wait. What the hell's this doll? Belly, probably inspired by Mexico. It is a taco place after all. I love a good taco. Just thinking about it makes me want to stuff myself. For real? I mean, I'm sure they're good, but aren't they too rich to eat a whole bunch? I get it as, like, an appetizer or something. I, uh, think you might be confusing Mexican tacos with octopus taco. Who pinged me? I'm in, uh, I'm doing something. Leave me alone. Alright, so that one's not popping up. There's still those two. Then there's this, which that might actually be this new part. Let's do it. Yep, not popping up. Let's go. Be shitting me. Who does that girl think she is with her stupid little pink hat? She's messing up our whole scam. Hmm? A girl with a pink hat? Is she talking about Megumi? Oh good. She's just she just got lucky this time. Don't worry about it. <sighs> ah. We could have done this for Yak Yaka not Yakaniko, if not for her. Now we're stuck with a fast food fucking food. I'm so pissed. Feels feel how light the donation boxes. Not like you're the only one suffering. I got my motorcycle to worry about. Seems like the rumor about those two are true. Nah. Man, 
We gotta do something about that kid. <laughs> okay, fine. We see our spot again. We crush the little shit. Yo. Yo, hold up a sec, guys. Mm -hmm. mm. The hell do you want, Pops? Away, were you with a kid? Collecting donations only to spend it on yourselves. How low can you get? So. You eavesdropping on us? Those donations are more than just money. A lot more. That shit is people's hopes. Their desire to be bigger than themselves by helping someone else. First, you trample all over everyone's goodwill. And now you're talking about crushing a little girl. Not on my fucking watch. Their goodwill? Dude, so cringy. Nah. Hey, how about we teach Gramps here a lesson? It'll make get rid of the brat that much easier. <laughs> yeah. And maybe we'll squeeze donation from him while we're at it. <laughs> I'd love to see you try. Eh? Real, real tough guy we got here. The high. Oh, poor guy. You have no idea what you just got into. Let's get it done. Oh, I'm going first. I'm not backing mm. down. You know what? You okay. want my money, Come eh? Okay. It's all yours, Oh, yeah, my money. Oh, you don't want my money anymore? Oh, that's a shame. Ugh. Okay, we've learned our lesson. We'll leave the kid alone. Go. You jerks. Do you even know why she's collecting donations? Uh-huh. No. No idea. I'm sure you guys saw how hard she was working back there. Listen up. So it was for her little brother. We're so focused on money we didn't even bother listening to her. That girl barely knows which way's up, but she's out there doing her best so she, uh, so she can help her brother. Hey. Putting that in perspective, what you guys were doing sounds pretty shitty, doesn't it? On top of that, she even said she looked up to you trying to help kids in need. Mm -hmm. What? I won't say anything about you two to Nikita Mugumi. She already, she's already going through a lot with her brother. Last thing she needs is anything that'll bring her down. Ugh. Man, I feel like a real ass. Uh. Yeah. Alright. Stupid scammers. Megumi, everything cool? Oh, Kasuga-san! You know, I haven't seen the usual donation people around here in a while. Huh. Hey, little girl, you got a second? Oh, it's you two! work for your brother. Bye. That wasn't much, but well, at least they're, you know, donating. That's all I have to say. I did see ya. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. This is for all your help. Pearl earrings. Okay. Are you sure? Wow, you could actually Thanks. sell those, lady, uh, little girl. <laughs> Working hard as ever, I see. Can I make a donation? Yes, of course. Thank you very much. Well, I'm gonna get going. Keep it up. I will. Good luck, Megumi. You're gonna need it. Donations, huh? Never really gave it much thought. I should give more the next time someone needs help. Then again, I should also be careful in not getting scammed. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
An act of kindness. Ah, uh, there we go. Alright, people are pinging me on the Discord wanting to play something. So I'm gonna probably uh, take a break here, but I'll be back after. So, see you in a second. I'll, yep, I'll see you in a second. So let's see, what are we doing? Let's go down here. Is that a chance? Leave it to me! One shot, one kill. I got this. I have 
You call that a drink? Give me a double shot this time. Sir, haven't you had enough? I think you should call it a day. I thought it was the bartender's job to give people their drinks. You're being unreasonable, sir. I'm only concerned for your health. You should at least have a sip of water. So you're cutting me off? Way to make a man feel unwanted. Sir, can you please calm down? You're causing a scene right now. Yo, mind if I step in? Huh? Buddy, just take the water and chill. You'll feel a lot better. You know what? You all are a bunch of buzzkills. I'm taking my business elsewhere. The heck was his deal? He's not a regular, is he? He sort of is. It was actually Il Yu Jin, a former Korean megastar. You didn't recognize him? Nah, unfortunately I can't begin to keep up with that stuff. Pretty crazy to run into somebody famous here of all places though. That's a first for me. Well, he's retired from the industry now. Got caught up in a scandal. He always had such a clean image too. But I guess fame changes people. Today wasn't even the worst I've seen him. Hope he's not causing trouble somewhere else. The former star, huh? Hating the star. Alright, we're here. Yeah, give me everything. Oop, me. One too many. There we go. That's better. Hey, isn't this where people have been seeing that masked killer? Ah, this is the one that happens at night. Okay. Oh yeah, that sign. It's the same one from the video, right? <gasps> wow, you're right. No way. This place is iconic. We should look around a bit. What if he's actually here? Yeah, let's go. Did she say iconic? I'd get it if this place was in a movie or TV show or something, but not for some murderer. Tell me about it. Michon's place has gotten reservations canceled because of it. Seriously? This rumor's becoming a real problem. All this talk about a masked killer sounds crazy. Are they for real? 
Maybe that guy could fill me in. The masked murderer. Guess uh, some kind of homicidal maniac is running right here. Might be worth asking about. Sup? Hey, you got a sec? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, something I can help you with. We're still getting right open. You know anything about the masked killer? Heard some people talking about it earlier and got curious. Is that just a rumor or is it for real? Uh, who knows? The rumors are spreading like wildfire, but it's not like I've seen the guy for myself. Someone took a picture and put it on the internet, so of course now it's blown up to be a blown up to be being a huge pain. We got more people coming by uh, by in the hopes of snapping a picture with a murderer than we do actual customers. It's bonkers. That's it. So the rumor just starts spreading on its own. Mm. That's the internet for you. Still though, mm? what is it? The thing is, I looked at that picture for myself. It's definitely a shady dude. It's definitely in this part of town. Shady how? Uh. Well, a big guy with a blood splattered hockey mask holding what looks like an axe, standing over a uh, Fuko Takakucho. Sure sound, sure as hell, sure as hell sounds like a murderer to me. That's certainly how it looks. That's it, I don't have the time to go stooping around for someone who may or may not exist. And even if I did find him, I'm not sure he, I'm just sure he'd murder me. Wow. Must be hard on everybody having a rumor like that go around. Yeah. Talk about hassle, but say. Now I get a good look at you. I'm willing to bet you're pretty tough. And since you're out here goofing off in midday, I imagine you got some time on your hands, right? Wait a damn minute. Sorry, I didn't mean nothing by it. It's just, I want to ask you something. You want me to look into the murderer? Uh. How'd you know? Think you could help out? No one's actually turned up dead or anything, but it's creepy and I don't want to lose any more customers. I'll be happy to uh, reward your efforts. How about it? Will you help me? <sighs> uh, I'm actually killer at shopping district. It's definitely weird. Fine. I'm curious about this myself, so I'll look into it. <laughs> really? That's great. I'm the owner of this place, by the way. The name's Saito. And you are? Yeah. I'm Kazuga. Well, Kazuga-san. Sorry to throw this at you, but I could really could use your help. The murderer said to appear in Fukukucho at night. You said you might be able to get to the bomb of this if you're here after dark. Alright. Fuko to Fuko Fuku to Kucho at night. Okay. I'll let you know if I find anything. Alright, so this one we actually have to wait until nighttime. So that is that. Done. Finished. Uh, wait, there's that one down there, then there's that one, and there's that one there. Okay? You don't look so hot. Oh, Kasuga-san! No, I'm alright. You sure? You shouldn't overwork yourself, you know? I'm sure. I have to do this for Makun. <coughs> hey, Megumi! Megumi! Are you okay? Hi, Dad. Hi, Mom. Yeah, I'm okay. I have to keep earning donations. You should take it easy for now. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Let's get you home. Listen to your mother, sweetheart. Okay. Hmm. 
I'm so sorry to get you involved in all of this. Would you happen to be Kasuga-san? Mm -hmm. What gave it away? Megami's told us a lot about you. She said a friendly man with shrub hair has been helping her out. Uh, oh, yeah? Thanks to your help, she's had great success in gathering donations. We wanted to express our gratitude earlier, but... No, oh, it's no problem. But what about Megumi? I know it's for her little brother, but don't you think she might be working too hard? She must have heard my wife and I talking about our financial troubles and taken it upon herself to make things better. We're here now because we were contacted by her school. It seems she hadn't been showing up lately. Skipping school to collect donations for her brother. I'm ashamed it took us so long to find out. Don't overdo it yourself, all right? Yes, I'll certainly try. Thank you. Well, I'd better get back to work. Once again, thank you for today. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me. I didn't know Megumi had it that bad. Maybe there's something I can do. Actually, yes, I can make that. Oh, no. <laughs> Spiky hammer. No. 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 Hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As much as I like to look at these on my feet. Bam! Now we have some ice. Oh, man. Maybe. Alright, I think we'll do this quest and. Oh, she's back. Uh oh. <laughs> Get me out of here! Huh? Where'd that come from? Somebody help! Hmm. What the heck happened to him? Well, let's help. Oh, all right. Can't just ignore what I see. Let's help the guy. Help me! Someone! Anyone! Hey, you all right? You hold still. I'll get you out right now. Ugh. <sighs> Thought I was gonna die. <laughs> no longer upside man, down, man. You really saved my hide. I owe you one. What were you doing in there, though? How does anyone even end up like that? Nothing shady. I can tell you that. I'm just a humble vagabond. People call me Shige-san, and that there's my treasure trove. What? This dumping ground? Yeah. I don't want to say it too loud, but. This mountain of trash here is a gold mine. Eh, uh, well, <laughs> uh, sometimes I get stuck trying to dig out the good stuff. You really dig through this crap? Bet you there's not even fool's gold in there. Sure, maybe it seems like junk on the surface. But dig deeper, and you'll come up on the good stuff. Take this doohickey, for instance. Whoa. 
Oh, nice watch. I would hope so. It's worth a million yen. You serious? Why would somebody throw that away? What even is this place? Seems to me it's where the Yakuza get rid of whatever they need, well, disposed of. So I poke around here long enough, I figure I'll end up with a small fortune. <laughs> Whoa, slow down. Aren't you being kind of reckless? If you get caught, it's over for you. Oh, ain't nobody caught on yet. Besides, they're throwing away stuff they don't even want. How can they complain? Try saying that to their face. Yeah, Come that's on. evidence Aren't they don't want. Aren't you even the least bit out. interested? You never know. You might find something right for you. Yeah, I don't think so. You sure? Nobody even wants this stuff. So no point in passing it all up. Anyway, why don't I give you what I found today as thanks for bailing me out? Oh, I should probably get your name first, shouldn't I? It's Kasuga. Okay then, Kasuga-san. Today, I'm bringing in the mother load. Is he gonna be all right? I better come back and check up on him at some point. Yeah. I, I hate to say it, man, but you're digging through the trash that the Yakuza are throwing away belongings of people they probably, to put it lightly, may disappear. And you're digging through that and you're bringing evidence whether you know it or not back up also karaoke bird excellent well hey what do i know hey <laughs> sorry you're learning Hey, still at, huh? <laughs> yes, sirree. I'm making easy money. Why on earth do I stop? That and I actually never see, actually never seen the Yakuza here aside for the first time. They ain't coming back. All right, I promise to give you some of these things. I hold in nice finds. So pick whatever you like. Shiny black object, dull metal object. Okay. Uh, can I have this? Yeah, yeah take it. I got Rhyme Amulet. Okay. Well, what about the other weird shit that turns up here? This is the Yaki's uh, dumping ground, so you might just... So you might just be in luck up until now. <sighs> you really that spooked? I think you might be overthinking it. Yeah, anyway, will you mind keeping it quiet about this place? Can't afford to lose my piece of the pie. You don't have to worry about me. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Well, I'm off for today. But your casa Yeah. Me. Yep. Alright, what's that amulet do, eh? Prime and it's probably yep, yeah, cold. Mm -hmm. After all that belly aching, you came back. Yeah. I just came back to see how things were. So, you find anything today? I'm fishing for something up right now. Let's see. Oh, uh, we look at that. Shirt's got a nice design, but just the tip of the trash. Yo. Don't get yourself stuck head first like last time. <laughs> I won't make the same mistake twice. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Holy shit! What is it? Oh. Oh shit, it's drenched in blood. 
Uh, it's still wet and stinky. Yeah, it's full of holes. Hey, are you shitting me right now? I, uh, shouldn't we report this to the police? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? I don't even have a phone. Hold on! Dude, calm down. Uh-oh, this is why you don't do it. Stupid. You had to go make more work. Yakuza, who used their fucking heads, don't just murk a guy and toss it and fucking close the door. Sorry about that, Anake. I figured I can get away with chucking some random shirt. Uh -huh. You figured? What if it leads right back to you, idiot? I know. I'm a dumbass. A real piece of shit. Really? Whatever. You threw that it out here? Go find it. Quick. Okay. Should be right there in the pile of... The fuck? Oh, hey, you. What do you think you're doing? Huh? I was just, um, shit. For fuck's sake, of all the shit in the heap, you just had to find that. Did I do something wrong? Put it this way, your garbage digging ass just turned up incriminating evidence, so I can't let you walk out alive. Chalk up the stroke of bad luck, pay all our feelings, my condolences, and all that shit. <laughs> so, you killed her was wearing that shirt, and this is all that's left? <laughs> <laughs> I could tell you that. But what good's telling you to go tell a dead man? I'd be wasting my brain. Damn! Great, now I gotta fight this guy. scared? <laughs> I thought I'd dig up something so awful and run afoul of the Yakuza. Mm. Ah. Guess there's no shortcuts to money and success, are there? I always hated the idea of money ruling the world. So I chose to walk the path of the dumpster diver. Ah. But maybe it's time I suck it up and get an actual job, huh? That might be a good idea. Now, I would have been killed were it not for you. So here, I hope you get some use out of this. <laughs> Intimidation manual. Anyway, I'm off to find some work. Maybe a, a shower and some better clothes while I'm at it. Good. Try and take care of the ladder stuff first. You know, well, maybe I ought to work a garbage truck. Picking up one shiny bundle of joy after another. You stay healthy, Katsuka-san. <laughs> Sheesh. Guess one man's trash is another man's treasure. Well, that was a weird one. Uh, cool. I can hire him. Yay. I think the only thing I have to do is this one and this one, and that's that. Let's finish those two. Then next time I might farm for money. You, you. Hey. Yo, Megumi, feeling any better? <coughs> oh, Kazuka san. Yeah, I'm fine now. No donations today, huh? Taking a break? Oh, no. He said I don't have to do it anymore because we have the money now. That means Makun will have a surgery soon. Hmm? They already got the money. 
how the hell they get that so fast. Hey. You don't seem too happy about, though. Something bothering you? Well, it's my dad. Lately, he's been going to, this, uh, to Central Street when he's supposed to be at work. Where you hear this? I saw him when he was walking home from school. I thought it was strange that he wasn't working, so I followed him. After that, he went into a dark building with some scary people. Megumi, if you ever see him around there again, don't follow him. <coughs> huh? But I... Don't worry about your dad. I'll go see if he's alright. <coughs> okay, I won't. I should head over to Central Street. Yeah, no, that sounds like a... Lone Shark. <laughs> yeah. Immediately don't do that. Central Street is about... There. So do that. old man. He's with some dudes. Who are they? Are you able to bring the documents? Your seal? Hi. Yes. And that kid's head upstairs. <laughs> this should be a piece of cake milking that guy's wall. <laughs> yeah, especially when he's all stressed out by covering his kid's medical expenses. <laughs> dad! Gumi, what are you doing here? Gumi, must I? Sorry, I was just worried about my dad. Right. Well, don't worry. I'm looking out for him. Yep. Lone sharks. Now, if you just stamp your seal here, we wish we wish your son a very successful surgery. Hi. Right. Hold on. Yo, hold up. Kazuka son. Uh -huh. Who the hell are you? Can't you see we're busy? Idiot. Dar's worried about you, you know. Wait, did something happen to Megumi? She's seen you come in here on her way back from school. She may be just a kid, but even she could tell this place is bad news. I'm not trying to tell you how to take care of your family. That's your job. But I won't. I wouldn't screw my, over my family's future just so I can help them out today. Not when Megumi's work so hard. Huh? I don't know what you're talking about, but if you're not a client, get lost. Okay. Oh, I'm leaving. We both are. This will waste my time. It seems our contract will have to wait until we take care of our uninvited guests. <laughs> Perhaps this will help you make up your mind. <laughs> <laughs> you come up with that line on your own. Uh -huh. Boys, wipe the floor with this asshole. Trust in them. Don't waste my time. I'm gonna ruin this entire building. Leave it to me. You're gonna be in a right, so so quick fight. battle. Let's get it done. Hope you're ready. I'm ready. Like I said, real quick. Good look. There we go. I feel the stats going up. <laughs> Foolish of me to even consider borrowing money for No. You're just looking out for your family. Anyway, it's all good. Dad! Megumi. Nah. Are you alright? Did they hurt you? <clears throat> I'm alright. I'm sorry for worrying you. Listen, Megumi, I know I said you won't need donation work. Yeah, you won't need to do donation work anymore. But looks like I was wrong. So, it's okay if I ask for your help again? <clears throat> yes, of course. Arigato. Thank you, but good way. Your father's going to work hard too. Kazuka san, thank you for your help with my family. We'll continue working to pay for Megumi's uh Masati Masashi. Masashi surgery together. Hmm? By the way, how much more do you need? Uh. Well, I've done everything I can. I'm happy to say that we have one million more to go, but we're running out of time. Yo! That's so. Uh, Say, which hospital's little guy at? Huh? Oh, he's at Center, S Central Hospital. Uh, one over city over. God, maybe I'll go give him a 
the best when I can. You're more than welcome to. After all, I'm... No, our whole family's in your debt. <laughs> I'm sure Maku will be happy to see you. So do I. Well, we'll be on our way now. Thank you so much for today. Alright, not to make two million yet. Alright, yep. Mm -hmm. I can't just let a poor little kid who needs surgery. Yeah. Listen, I need two million yen now. One for the scientist who can wait, and one for the kid. I will go to work. Right now, we also have to go to this guy. Bod Rodriguez. Bar Rodriguez. Oops. Next time, I'll be doing... So probably, I'll do this quest to end it, but then next time, I'm going to be doing a lot of Ichibank Infections. A lot of Ichibank Infections. So... Three episodes in a row of, you know, not mean stories. Mean story stuff happens. Oh, it happens. Hope you're ready. Just go. Um... Very... Um... So... There we go. So the game's AI is a bit sometimes they're bad on it. Which hey, I can't wait to see if funny. Oh boy. And I'll wait. Alright, I also have a Dachi's thing to do too. <laughs> I used to be amazing. You know, I had a face that could stop traffic. One time I rented out the entire department store so I could shop. Otherwise, fans would be buzzing around me on the fly. Being a star is not easy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when we start on taxes, those government mosquitoes will bleed and then dry. <laughs> right? Hey, you, you hear me? No, I, I wasn't listening to begin with. Can you go away now? Huh? Excuse me, a living legend gives you time of day and you just brush him off. You should be wet in your pants right now. Well, that washed up star is being a real pain in the ass. Guess I better have Go! Hey, I know you're a big star and all, but that's give you the right to crash land in every drinking hole in the city. You've had enough. Excuse me, who do you think you are, a mother? You must be out of your mind chastising a legend like me. You mean former legend? Huh? You just had to go insult me, didn't you? Well, I'm done being everyone's punching bag. It's your turn, jerk face. Go! Come on, guy. Can you at least stand? <sighs> How about now? Feeling a little better? Yes. I'm drawing a blank on what happened, but it's coming back bits and pieces. I can faintly recall being an asshole. For some reason, my entire body hurts. Yep, as it should. I feel I need to apologize. I really have hit a new low. I used to inspire millions and now I find but now I'm just a poster boy for alcoholism. You see, I'm an actor from Korea. I used to be in all kinds of movies. Yeah, I heard. Wasn't your name? Ilyujin. Ilyujin, right? <laughs> That's it. At least somebody here remembers me. That almost makes me happy. That reminds me. Who are you again? Yeah. Just come, Kazuga. So, you always drowning your sorrows in a waterfall of booze? You'll pickle yourself, you'll pickle your liver, your liver, you know. I don't care. It's like I need a working liver in the first place. <laughs> Maybe I should just 
pickle it. Come on, man. People used to adore me. I thought I had made. Yeah, I heard from the staff you're some kind of Korean superstar. Wish I knew more about it, but I don't. Yeah. No, it's fine. That was ages ago, anyway. Listen, why does a famous guy like you need to binge out here? So here's the story. Up until a decade ago, I appeared in all kinds of movies from Korea. It was hectic, but I re was really living in the dream. Thankfully, I had the best manager a guy could have. Never could have held up without her. Heck, she was there for me before I made it big. She had charm, she had style. She really was one of a kind. Everybody in the business loved her. Then one day, she caught the eye of this big name producer. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Hi. Well, she ran across the uh, legend in the industry. He was involved in every flick that moved. I always got what he wanted. I'm sure you know the type. The thing is, he was also known for being a sleazy bastard. And he came to me with an offer. He'd give me the biggest role in my career for one night alone with my manager. Bastard is right. Obviously, I turned him down. Repeatedly. But then came the day that monster took my manager in his car and started forcing himself on her right in front of my eyes. The only thing going through my mind was to protect her. Before I realized it, I knocked his ass out. As a result, he got the press to start a smear campaign against me. It worked. Got me forced out of business before I even knew what was happening. How did the producer not get any flack for this? He framed it like he was the victim. And the worst part is, he's still out there doing his thing. Except now, people love him even more. Damn! What the hell? And you're okay with that? Yeah. Of course not. But protesting would make things only worse. Partially for my manager. She already left the biz to work at home with her family. They grow bok, bok choy or something like that. Anyway, I don't want to cause her any more grief. Besides, I did assault man. That much is true. <sighs> oh. oh. Maybe there's a smarter way to handle things, but at the time I couldn't think of it. I let my fans down and ruined my career one punch. That clean, upbeat image I worked so hard to keep was shattered in the night. Damn. Hell of a story you got there. <sighs> Maybe I'm still drunk. I seem to be blabbering more than usual. It makes you feel any like better. Then let it all out. I'll listen. <laughs> <laughs> you say that, but all I have to... Um... <laughs> when I said let it all out, that wasn't what I meant. <laughs> you alright? Hold on, I'll get you some water. See you, uh, Sorry. You keep going out of your way for me. <laughs> dragon car, one day. One day, dragon car. Irashaymase. Alright, yeah. ありがとうございました。ありがとう。ええ。ってキャパ。いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。
ありがとうございましたありがとう Alright, I got his water Also is there Yeah, there is Should I open it? Sweet Should I open it? Got it These douchebags are harassing me and my date. Jealous much? Anyways, we're at Hamakia, Hamakita Park, so get over here and do your job. Wow, good at you asked nicely. Time to clean up! Sorry for the wait. Your hero, not your bodyguard, has arrived. Perfect. Now I have the opportunity to press this chick. You're going down, buddy boy. Alright, two of you versus four of us. Right. Your level is 20 and you're juggling. You're in it huh? now. Right. Take your I'll show you. Shot. Ah! Good, he's bleeding. That's yeah. something. You sure you can oh, yeah. it? Exactly. It's a radical drop. Here we go. Let's go. You sure you want to get hurt? I'm ready now. I got this. Just finish him. I'll take care of the other guy. Cool. Let's see. Check this out. Right. We got to help. Sure you can me? No. No. What was that? No. I'm up! I totally would have fought along you, but along with you, but uh, I'm wearing my best outfit. Yeah. Uh huh. With finesse. With finesse. Oh wait, new quest available. Dragon cart registry. What? Also, there's just a random scuba guy there. As much as I want to fight him, I got a feeling it's a bad idea. So I'm gonna fight him. Spear or header. Damn it, he's pocket saved me. I have secret too. Take your best shot. Come on, let's go! Let's see what everything looks like in this. You're done now! Also, I'm doing this because my accuracy has been extremely low. That's Here we go. literally the best way to land a hit at Ichiban at the moment. Let's go! Let's go! Alright, my boss is ready. Combo. If 
if he ever comes back. Beehive. Lawn. Alright, let's give him a sparkle. here? Oh, the biker's ride. The biker that I'm not able to do yet? Oddly enough. Not yet. I should hurry and get him some water. Yo! Hey, you good? I thought this might help cool you Thank you. Thanks. Much appreciated. Ah. Oh, no. That's the ticket. Your lifesaver. Man, hope uh, your fans recognize you like this. Tell me about it. I've only been snapping at strangers and bothering bartenders. All because I can't let my past let go of my past success. Guess you reap what you sow. <laughs> Just look at me. Ten years gone by, nothing to show for it. I guess the bright side is that my Japanese improved as I drank myself in oblivion. That's about it. Oh. I'm supposed to be an actor here. And an actor who's lost all his fans in just a week. Is it just, it's just a weak little person friend pretending to be someone they're not. Oh. Uh, hey, enough of your tears already. Man, you are something else. Ah, no. Excuse me. By any chance, are you. You Sama? Oh, no. You couldn't be. You do look like a lot like him, though. Hmm? You mean, you Sama? Yes. Back in the day, there was this amazing actor named Ilyu Sama, Ilyu Jin. Everyone in my generation was in love with him. Whenever he appeared on the screen or in public, you could hear the screaming fans blocks away. Wow. Ah, oh, sounds like he was practically worshipped. Ah, uh, yes. When I came across him just now, I thought he looked... I was looking at a scene of, uh, right now... Our winter son sonata. The, oh jeez, like you just pulled that out of nowhere. The resemblance is like candy. Um you must be a true fan if you're already always carrying that around. Huh. Wow. The resemblance is pretty crazy, huh? But yes, the film's a masterpiece. I can nearly recite it backwards and forwards. Sarunghe. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> That's all about all the Korean I know. You know, I met my husband here at this park. Can you believe we both, uh, we were both going on pilgrimages, uh, or on pilgrimages whenever you, uh, Oh, so you were, he was a big fan too. <laughs> oh, you bet. You'd be surprised how many men like Yusama's films. So of course we hit off right away. <laughs> <laughs> Guess it helps to have that in common, huh? <laughs> you could say that. Whenever we wanted to celebrate, we always find ourselves back here. We love to walk and talk. And of course, the topic would always be Yusama. Today's actually the anniversary of my husband's passing. So instead, I'm walking and reflecting, enjoying all the memories made. Oh, I didn't realize. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, don't be. Being able to talk about Yusama again reminds me of the good old days. Yusama, you're out there. I hope you'll be able to uh, return to the silver screen someday. I wonder where you are and what you're doing now. Well, as long as you're healthy and happy, that's good enough for me. <laughs> I'd say Yusama's lucky guy have fans like you. Oh, no. I'm just an old lady with too much time on her hands. But I will say us fans ought to leave a place for him in the hearts so he can come back anytime. His work has inspired me throughout my life and I'm sure I'm not alone in that. Wouldn't it be sad if he felt like there was nobody waiting for his grand return? He's our number one star, you know. Oh. Well, I'm sure I've talked your ears off, but it would be nice to see you boys again. Take care now. Yo! Hey, you forgot your pamphlet. Don't you want it? Hmm. Why do I let you have it? There's at least ten more at home. Oh. Okay. 
You really are a true fan. Thanks. <laughs> so, what was that again about losing all your fans? I hope you are paying attention just now. That lady spoke nothing but good about... Oh, that lady spoke nothing but good about you. And she was smiling the whole time. She pro she'd probably kiss the ground you walk on. I know. She was very kind. So, if you if all you do is drink yourself to death, wouldn't that break her heart? Same for all your other true fans? Maybe so. I think I've been using my fans as an excuse. When in reality, I wanted to escape the pain of what I've done. I'm the one who deserted them. Now I know I have the tall mountain in front of me, but if I could find the footing I need, I'm sure I could make the journey. Heh. <laughs> so you're saying you want to turn things around? Hi. Yeah. I want to be an actor again. And even if there's only one person that gives a lick, then I'll do it just for them. Them all for it. Go get him. Eh. First things first, I have to get back in the shape. Work off the beer belly and all that. In any case, catch you later, Kuska san. Okay. See you later. Alright, that one's advancing. Oh wait, is that him? I think that might be him. And then that's it. Cause uh, the other Three, I can't do because I need money. And I will farm that money in the next one. The next one's gonna be the boring one for everybody because I'm gonna be just doing Ichiban confections, farming money. Also, there's this. Yeah, I know you're. I'll toilet paper. I need pocket tissue. And I got them. another Tojo crust. I got really gotta turn those in one day. Up and get to the uh, taxi, and we'll see where this quest goes. Man, something about the storytelling in these games is great. You can be laughing one minute and have tears swelling up in the next minute, and then feeling good about yourself in the next. It's like, man, they're good. Uh, is it this one? <laughs> These games make you feel emotions, which is a good thing to see. Alright. Oh, man. Oh, howdy, Yuljin. Heard you were making a big return. Yeah, and... Hmm? Hey, that's Yujin. What are he's doing? The thing is, I got pictures of you stirring up shit Rodriguez just recently. <gasps> huh? <laughs> I hate to think what happened with these Pictures got out. Sure, would fuck you up your return showbiz, no? Damn you. Mm. Looks like the conversation's not going too good. Yo. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, oh Kazugasa. Oh. oh, if there's a new Sama's partner in crime. Perfect timing. I love the interview, too. Hey, who's this guy? Some, wanna, uh, some wannabe paparazzi, he calls himself. Suzuki-san. Hey. Please, I'm a freelance journalist. Respect the profession. Anyway, I just happened to be... I just happened to be at Rodriguez when you two were having it out. And I took the liberty of snapping a few pictures. Looks like Yusama still has a violent streak. Ooh! Ah, uh, hell. Yeah, see? I knew they'd be perfect for headlines. Along lines of... Oh, how about this? Yusama's at it again. Former star turned savage. <laughs> Not bad if I do say so myself. I'm about to earn a lobster dinner here. Yo! What the hell are you talking about? It's obvious, isn't it? These pictures are going to be worth a fortune. If you will find out you assaulted someone not once but twice, wouldn't your life itself be worth it? <laughs> Look, I'll make you a deal. I'll transfer you the pictures. You fork over 50 mil. Small price to pay for your entire for fortune, don't you think? What? That's crazy. Hey! Alright, hold up. Whatever went down the bars between me and him, nothing happened. That's the end of it. No one cares what you say. All I do is... All I do is take shit out of context, and that's what people... 
Absolutely. Creative liberties, you know. Now, I hope you're not thinking of going around explaining to each and every person your version of what happened. <laughs> Don't think so. So if I were you, I would just give me the money. It's not that hard of a choice. You're right. There isn't a choice at all. Oh? Yeah. You're not paying a single yen to this fake-ass punk. I know a scam when I see you. <laughs> How's it going, son? Hey. You. Delete those pictures now. I won't let you step on his career. What, do you think you can intimidate me? You think I'm some kind of charity? I'm I'm used to big, scary guys like you. People think writers like me are powerless, and I teach them all a lesson. Oh, yes, I do. Maybe I should share the same lesson with you. A lesson in pure pain. Well, still gonna be stubborn? I see. I'll just have to add another article. <laughs> Former journalist hero, the man who stopped Eugene uh, Eugene and his Yakuza pal. Alright, I'll do this one quick. Right. Oh, he actually has help. Yeah, I'm in there. I got this. I'll show you. Okay, goodbye. I'll tell you it. Nice. So, about that. You really taught me pain. You fraud. Oh, voice acting. I can't believe you decked your producer over a bad contract. A contract? Yeah. To my understanding, he wanted more money, so he went and socked the guy. There was a time that this was all the news talked about. No. The only reason he did that was to get his manager out of a jam. Wait. What's this about his manager? That producer you seem to love so much actually tried to force himself on Il Eugene's manager. So in the heat of the moment, he did what he could to protect her. And to make sure she wasn't dragged into the spotlight, Il Eugene kept quiet. That's why... That's enough, Kasuga-san. Only the people involved need to know. Yeah, but... Wait, if your manager was a lady... Actually, I do know that producer had a terrible rep as a womanizer. And come to think of it, the whole fighting over money spiel was penned directly by him. Could that mean you really did all that for your manager's sake? And you kept it a secret all this time, even at the cost of your career? Suzuki-san, I will tell you this only once. Do not speak of this to anyone. I'm not gonna let some media clown track down my manager and ruin her life again. If something like that does happen, you will be the one who pays. You look at me like that, I can tell you're not bullshitting. You protected her all right. Looks like I'm the fraud here. Instead of doing proper research, I only swallowed up the hype. Some journalist I am. All right, I deleted the pictures. Not a single one remains. Good. Kasuga-san, you really helped me turn my life around. Thank you. What can I say? You're a star with staying power. Keep your chin up, guy. <laughs> I certainly will try. But I do have the weight of what I've done hanging over my shoulders. Neither the media nor Suzuki-san had it wrong. I hit one man and caused others grief. My first order of business is to own up to what I've done. Make things right. Only then can I aim to be how I once was. An actor who touched people's hearts. <sighs> well, if that lady at the park is anyone to go by, I'd say you're off to a great start. <laughs> Maybe so. Here, why don't you have this? My way of saying thanks. A bullet of memory. Well, I guess it's so long for now. See ya. So, that's Il Jin Eugene. Wonder if I can find some movies at the video store. Uh huh? What was that just now? Oh, nothing to worry about. I took a picture of Yusama's first step forward. Been a while since I posted about an actor not screwing up his life. Who knew it felt so good to support someone? 
So rather than yet another scandal, how about I cook up something a little more uplifting? Oh? An actor's road to redemption. Il Eugene announces spectacular return to showbiz. Well, how's that sound? <laughs> Not bad at all. One of these days, I'll get him to give me an interview. Not about his past, but what he plans for the future. After seeing how different he is, even the most jaded critic would give him another chance. Got that right. Guess I'll leave the journalism to you, then. Ah. Should have got me his autograph. Yeah. Yeah, you should have, because who knows, huh? Also, his pound mate is really good. Also, if I remember correctly, he's actually a reoccurring character in some of the uh, older Yakuza games. But until then, hey, I'm done for now. So next time I think I'm going to farm Ichiban Confections, and do the story there, because I need money. Lots and lots of money, because I have to pay for the kid and the doctor. The, 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 kid's doc the kid doctor and the scientist. The builder. This one I'll figure out in my own time. But until then, I hope to see you next time. If not, oh well. But yeah.